Today's dish is my air fryer pork chop, which I've seasoned, and I'm gonna finish seasoning up a little bit more. I've seasoned the other side and sprayed the other side already. And I'm gonna finish seasoning up this side. The seasoning blend that I'm using is this McCormick Roasted Garlic and Herb Blend. It's really good. It has um, a little bit of a spice to it. Uh, of course, it has uh, salt and pepper, so we don't need to add any more salt or pepper to this pork chop seasoning because it's already in the seasoning blend. And I'm using some olive oil spray uh, to lightly coat the pork chops, and I've already sprayed the other side as well. I'm going to do a double-tiered method in the air fryer, and by that I mean by using this rack. So I'm going to put um, two pork chops on the bottom of the air fryer, and then I'm going to put two pork chops on top. So that's layer one. Now I'm going to put the rack in. Got to make sure. Oh, set down perfectly. And I'll put the. And as you can see, I did season the other side. So in case you were curious as to had I really seasoned them, I did. other one in here. Make sure that they're got a little air in between them and they're sitting in there nicely. And then we'll set the air fryer. Close it up. Okay, I'm going to turn on the air fryer and I'm going to use the air crisp method. Um, it automatically set at 390, which I'm fine with. So I'm just going to um, put in, I think I'm gonna set it for 25 minutes to start um, and then we can hit start. And there we have it. At the halfway mark of the 25 minutes, I'm gonna take a look at them. And I think I need to flip them or at least flip the ones on the top. They're starting to look really, really good. I think the ones on the bottom are okay, but I'm gonna flip the ones on the top. Because I can see some of my garlic and herbs starting to, to, to crisp up a little. Note to self, invest in some better tongs. Yeah, I had them in there. Now how come I can't get them back down? There we go. Okay. So we'll let them go another 12 or so minutes, and I think we'll be done and let them rest. Okay, I flipped the ones that were on the bottom layer, and I wanted to have a little bit more of a, a crust. So I'm going to flip these, and plus these are the thicker ones, and I'm going to set the air fry for air crust for maybe another two to three minutes. So those can brown up a little bit, just as good as those while they rest. So back down goes the air fryer. Air crisp mode. Um, and I'm gonna set the timer for, I think five minutes is plenty to have that side brown a little bit more. Again, those were the thicker chops. So I think that'll be good. Let's start. And I'll let you see what the bottom ones look like in a few minutes. I brought the other two up to the rack, put them on top of the rack just to help it um, brown a little bit more without necessarily overcooking them. And these look really good. But as you can see, these were the thicker chops, but they got a nice color on the side that was in the oil. Those are still resting. Oops. <laughs> Better tongs are needed. There we have it, my air fryer, well-seasoned pork chops. So we'll let those rest a little bit. I'm gonna serve this with some rice and beans and some corn, and I'll show you how juicy they are once I cut into them. Okay, I'm gonna cut into it so you can see how juicy these pork chops are and they're not dry. I don't know if you can see that. The camera does it justice. But 
this is one of the thicker ones. Cut it this way. And they're perfectly cooked. And look at that. Nice and juicy. I can see the juice. So let me taste. Mm-mm. That's yummy. Let's eat.